So right here, our image, we render inside the view. And I'll we'll just touch up a few elements to bring maybe out some um, imagery from this, a little bit more density. One thing you'll notice, our mountains is hiding a little. After review, I want to bring them up. What I like about rendered in view, you can always save as high dynamic range image. That way you can actually have more variety of the lighting elements and you can bring them out. So like right here, for example, we're going inside Photomatics Pro and I also save this stereo as HDR image. So we'll go ahead and click on tone mapping. And you can see how much density I already have right here in the image included mountain. So it's giving me extra elements as with L, um, lighting. I don't necessarily like all the way this very dramatic look. I want to readjust, but I do want to bring some of those elements after inside the image. So we will combine Photoshop, the PSD image we created, and what we're going to create right here. So let's look at just a couple of things. And I want to bring white point a bit down so we don't lose some details. So let's go look on some tone compression, bring a little bit up. Okay, give it us this very strong HDR look. Let's go look on a little bit, yeah, decrease saturation. And bring the gamma down. So it's give it us this very gringy darker look. Okay, when we're done, again, you don't necessarily need to have this application. You can do inside the Photoshop, create the same way. I just like um, using the Photomatics Pro because it's kind of familiar with some results. Okay, at sharp. So we're done with this and let's save this file okay so inside the photoshop here we have our original file and here we have a tone map it so i want to go ahead and copy this one and paste it over so right now with playing with blending mode i can bring specific elements a little bit more out so we'll go enable have it our mask up and we're going to um, inverse mask. So it's almost hiding everything we created. But now we're using our brush. We'll go with the white color, 10% opacity, and it's soft, so the brush, so we'll use a very soft brush. We start, can go ahead and slightly painting a little bit in those greenges we have. So remember clouds have a little bit image, so we we'll, can add just slightly right there in our clouds. Okay. Let's create a little bit bigger. There you go. Okay. Also, I do like it a little bit on the mountains. And if it's going too strong, we can even decrease to maybe five. So we have very nice smooth strokes. Okay, right there. Let's kind of add ingredients right there. A little bit more on the mountains. And you can see how it's start greening some of those details. Okay, mostly on the clouds. So we still have this haze what I want to preserve on those mountains, but at the same time I want to bring some of those details out. So it's give it almost like painting effect. Okay, I'm gonna bring a little bit more right to the side. Okay. So it's look um, kind of nice. The next things I want to do is a little bit overlay colors. So let's go create a new layer. And we're going to find it's a gradient. So notice how we have it black to white. It's what we selected. So I want to actually change my gradient. And we'll go to select maybe from blue, kind of from blue to yellow, blue on the side or cyan. So let's go change those colors. We go select more color and we're going and select kind of more bluish cyan look right here. We'll go in the middle. Let's select a little bit colder 
and we'll end up with a warmer color. So run that way. Okay. Uh, bring closer. Okay. okay. Um, next, I want position. So I want to have it kind of maybe going this direction from side. And we'll go switch this. Let's try soft light. And you can see a color overlay already working. Let's go try overlay. It's bring more saturations to our image. I don't necessarily want to use the hungry percent this way. So what I'm going to do is take opacity, take all the way down, and we can just slightly playing with opacity to bring this kind of contrast between warm and cold things. Again, we can play saturation. We can also go and even bring colors. In this case, we don't change any luminosity. Only our coloring will work. We can kind of go and click maybe just slightly. I think this will work. Okay, let's go next. Um, again, you can see maybe it's too strong again. Just slightly down. Okay, next what I want to do is add some color correcting to this. We'll do this with the curves. And we'll go inside this curve as a color. We'll go to blue, take our blue, bring up for the shadows and bring warmer from the middle and the top. So it's kind of like a scenic curve, it's what we're creating. Same with this cyan and bring reddish. So in some case, you can see it's add this interesting cinematic look to our scenery. Okay, let's go next. We'll go to add another curve. And this one will be luminosity. So in luminosity, we can add how much we want with shadows. We want to add contrast or darker areas, so we can kind of modify this. I want to just bring a little bit out of shadows, a little bit more foggy look like it's morning. So right here you can see we have a nice preview. Okay, let me go just take those ones and again you can see before and after. Definitely we brought some nice details. We can also apply different filters if you're interested, um, like a brush filter or anything. But even right here, we have a very nice, very interesting image and um, playing with some coloring with the gradients. So we can actually, you know what, let's do this way. Let me switch this from cyan to a little bit more colder, like this. And we'll put it this one to cyanotic range, kind of like this. Just slightly adjustment. Okay, let's bring warmer or out. Okay. So you can see just a little bit colder area in this more light spreading out kind of like this so we can preview. Okay. And let's go to try soft light. I think soft light or overlay give it us some contrast pop up, it's what we're going after. It's kind of almost like playing between two lines, so we have to colder and warmer, and the season changing. But you can see how you can play and adjust. Again, this is um, as an example, if you open Vu, you can just have fun just creating basic landscapes if you're interested again thank you for watching this tutorial from geek at play studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com